So how do you feel about Maryland's chances of running the table? I know we're only here for Michigan State this weekend, but we've asked everyone, are they, do they have that look? Can they go the distance? Yeah, my, my sense has been, um, I've argued all year long that I want to see this team play faster. And even as we think of them playing against a Michigan State team that loves to play fast off of misses and makes, I've always felt that favored Maryland. And I thought Jay made a great point earlier. You look at the point guard play, you look on the interior with Stick Smith, they have it all to win the national title. The question I had coming into the season, could they shoot it well enough? Uh, I think Ayala playing the point guard position allows Cowan to be able to rest on the offensive end and be able to move to the basketball, a luxury that Michigan State does not have. Um, I think Wiggins is a pro. I mean, his ability to shoot it from deep, he's got a nice pull-up game, he's got length and size. Uh, this team has, in my opinion, every element to win a national title. And because of all of those factors, I, I feel they have a great chance to run the table. Seeing as many games as you do this winter, what, in your opinion, sets Jalen Smith uh, apart from some of the other bigs that you check on today? You know what I love about him is he goes for long stretches. And as a former big, I complain about it all the time, but he goes for long stretches without touching the basketball. Yet he doesn't allow it to get doesn't allow it to bother him. He doesn't get salty when he's going to the sideline. He just continues to play. He continues to rebound the basketball, play good defense, tries to shot block, and then when he gets his opportunities, he maximizes on his opportunities. I feel he's a lot more efficient than people give him credit for. I really enjoy watching him play. How many games? Do you think they're going to let this team play this weekend? Do you think the officials are just going to let him play? Make it like a Big Ten game? Because the Minnesota game was a, was a little sketchy. It's interesting because the Michigan State game at Michigan State, I thought was a very physical game and they allowed them to play. And so it depends on if we get the same officials that we had at Michigan State. And uh, for me, just for an enjoyment, from an enjoyment factor, I hope they allow the guys to be able to play, uh, especially given all the size and given the physicality of both teams. Uh, I, I would suspect eight o'clock game, national audience, everyone watching, I, I think they'll let them play. How many games have you been to at Xfinity Center? Uh, let's see, I called, it's my 11th season at ESPN. If I remember correctly, I called two games uh, here while Coach Williams was here. In fact, my last game with him was his last season. And then I've called one here since Coach Turgeon has been here. So only only three. Your impression of the Xfinity energy for a game like this? Uh, it, when I don't have the history that Jay Billis and, some of the, and Seth Greenberg have in terms of the ACC, but the one thing I can remember is the three times I was here, the energy in the building was just phenomenal. So I look forward to taking that in. Now on the other side uh, for ESPN during college game day, and looking forward to taking it in as we watch the game at 8 o'clock as well. As a former um, big yourself, how much are you looking forward to the matchup between Jalen Smith and Xavier Tillman? And how interesting of a matchup is that with Tillman being more of the bruiser and Sticks being more of a stretch big? Yeah, I, I think the, the reality, though, is Michigan State requires or they rely on Tillman a lot more because if you look at the last game, and it's kind of been consistently that way this year, Cassius Winston has been Tillman inside. The question for Michigan State, can they get enough production from the others, if you will, and they've not gotten that consistently. So I'm not sure how much one-on-one -on -one inside play we'll get a chance to see with him and Stick Smith. But the thing I love about Stick Smith is that um, when I played against bigger guys, I would step slightly off the block and turn and face. And uh, he actually had one of those at Michigan State. I didn't know he had that in his game. And that's a great weapon for a physical Michigan State team that's going to try to push him off of his comfort zone off the block to have that mid-range 8 to 12 foot turnaround jump shot that he can make. So, of course, I love the big, big matchup on the interior, and I'm excited to see it tomorrow. Alfonso, what are you, your thoughts on Mark Turgeon's job this year with his team? Obviously, high expectations and then able to get them to this point where they're on the precipice of the Big Ten Championship. Yeah, I mean, I, I think the job that he's done just in general in transitioning this team from the ACC to the Big Ten, I think is, I don't think he's got enough credit for that. Um, I don't think he's got enough credit for, you know, with, with having to deal with several injuries, et cetera, uh, to be on the precipice of winning uh, the Big Ten title and then going on with a chance to win the NCAA tournament title. Uh, he's done a phenomenal job of managing all of the issues that can go wrong. Because again, I, I tend to look away from the floor and watching guys as they're walking over to the bench. And, and even everyone outside of Cowan, outside of Stick Smith, Everyone's got a great attitude. They're lifting each other up. They're encouraging each other. They're challenging each other on the floor. So when you talk about the intangibles that it takes to win, uh, I don't see any team in the country that has it more than Maryland. They do, they do a fantastic job as a group of coaching and managing themselves. And of course, that starts with Coach Turgeon's leadership. Hi, guys. I have one more question.
Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Bucknell got a win on Wednesday night. <laughs> it was nice to drive here after that win. My son's a sophomore ball player at Bucknell, so that was nice. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to taking in game day here at uh, College Park and seeing a great game at 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Thank you. Thank you.